Alrighty, so as you can see, the barley has grown out on both fields and it is quite a sight. It's barley for days and days and days. Let's go ahead and just bring this tractor up with the trailer over to the harvester because he just fills up so quick. Even though it's the largest one, it's still only 9,000 litres that it can hold. So it's not really too much, but thankfully we've got this massive tipper as well. Imagine trying to do this field fertilized with the first tipper that we get. It's only 1,500. Um, space, liters, whatever. Alright, and I should mention, I do have a mod installed. It's actually quite a decent mod. Uh, all you have to do is, when you tap between vehicles, they're automatically started, so the engine is automatically on, so you don't need to wait, like, a good five seconds or so before it actually starts. So that's kind of decent. You do have to press Y to start the engine. So this is how you start off. So when you start the game, you press Y to start the engine, then you have something weird that says preheating. Oh. It's, well, let's turn it off. You have this little symbol that says preheating before start, you press Y again, and then you can start. And then what we do is say we go back to the tractor, and now we tap back to it, the engine's already on. So that's kind of neat. It saves up a little bit of time, and it's just not as annoying just having to wait all this time for your vehicles to start up. Uh, we do have a fair bit of money, but because we have, I think it's insert, yes, to get to the finance menu, um, I'm going to have to start paying off a couple of my loans because the interest does rise up. It started off, I think, at $70 a day. Now we're at 280 so it does add up. So I'm starting to think about paying it back off, but even $280 is pretty much nothing a day because we get about 380 from one solar collector an hour, so it doesn't really work out. Now, what else should I do? I don't think I really should be doing anything too different apart from maybe taking this tractor and get my baler. Oh, and I should also mention I went ahead and bought the bale forks. And what I did is I put, well, I tried it out and I put a the hay bale, the one that was left over into that mixer and it does work although it's pretty hard you have to have basically sexual intercourse between both of your vehicles it's kind of weird what you have to do like it's it should be done in a different way it's pretty much a luck how you get your hay bales hay bales into that vehicle but oh how do you only have 19 liters really i've only just noticed that now jeez okay well, let's fill ourselves up with fuel then I guess this is an old tractor, so it just guzzles all that up. Let's refuel. Oh, it doesn't really cost that much. Fertilizer actually costs way more. Okay. Let's just go around here and we can start bailing. Well, that guy goes on to work. Has he got his arm out yet? No, I don't think so. Which is good. Actually, maybe we should use our windrower first. That would be quite an idea, wouldn't it? Okay. So let's just get our windrower ready. Just to speed everything up. Just don't want to be driving for ages and ages with the bailer. Well, although it is good. Now we're pretty much every episode getting something new. I'm quite impressed. And also, I'm impressed with the microphone quality. This is a microphone that, or a headset that costs about $10, just from a local shop. And it, most of you guys said it sounds just as well <laughs> as the uh, PX21s. Which, to be honest, they aren't really professional audio recordings, but they're just more headset type of uh, earphone for music and stuff. You still don't have your pipe out yet, but I'm sure you'll need it out soon. Let's turn this on. So that means the game's gonna lag up a bit. No, we don't want to lift it up, we wanna. No. What do you press? Oh B, sorry. There we go. Yeah, okay, let's drive in the middle of the road. Hopefully that's gonna be good enough. It should be. I don't see why. Oh really? Ah, that's not good. Alright, we should drive in one row. Like this. It's because this harvest is just so large. Yeah. Oh, really? You are all done? So we're going to have to stop you. Actually, that is perfect. 
because what happens when you tab back and what this mod does actually is it enables us to be able to keep the windrow on because usually I think if you tab out of the vehicle like the windrow it stops so that's good that's automatically on but I need no, yes you we still don't have any great demands nope and we do have our front loader over here. I think I'm going to buy another one. We do have more than enough money for the crappy red ones. But to be honest, they're not that crappy. Suppose they're crappy. Most of you guys don't really like them, but I don't have a problem with it. I can't imagine there being too much of a difference just with a moving arm, to be honest. So yeah, I might buy another one and put that where the sheep are because at the moment no one's getting the sheep, the wool from the sheep. Okay, we're done yet? We should be. Okay. Okay, now back to you. Okay. So it is a bit unfortunate that we can only do two rows in one instead of three or four. But I guess it's mainly used for grass though, but this still helps us out. Speeds things up a little. So yeah, I really recommend this mod because it just saves up a lot of time when your vehicles have to take a good couple of seconds to actually start up. You save a, a bit of time and it all adds up in the end. I'm going to have to move that tractor soon. I still haven't sold it. I know I did say I was going to sell it, but I really didn't have a need to sell it actually because I still need it for that trailer. Plus, we're making more than enough money to not worry about things like that. Now, I'm going to have to tell you to stop. I'm going to have to... Oh, yes. So, as you can see, this is the straw. It says 100% full. And we have some on the very right. We have some weird picture, which I guess means is that it's mixed. I guess. <laughs> That's completely new. It looks a little weird. This is the bale fork. It sucks that you can't actually pick up your hay bales with the pallet fork that would be nice but you need the this thing all these forks just confuse me you're doing well I need you though oh and unfortunately I put my uh, ridge marker over here so that's why that's not there okay that's good enough uh, let's zoom back out We'll be able to do these three. No, we won't. No, we won't. Ah, shame. Actually, I think with this you can go full speed, can't you? Let's go cruise control three. Yep. I was driving too slow the whole time. What do you know? And then after this row, when we come back, actually, you know what? We'll just wait it out. Yeah, we'll wait until we get this whole field windrowed, and then we'll be back uh, with the baler. At least that's the goal for now. Almost done anyway. I love the draw distance problems. They just add to the game so much. Like you, you know, it's farming simulator with the draw distance. It's like in a circular type of radius. But the game supposedly runs really well on really poor computers. So I guess that's why the draw distance is so bad. And I guess you can upgrade it or fix it using 
your notepad in some game menu. Now, back to the trailer, which is over here. Let's try to get there before it reaches 100%, which I doubt we could do. But you never know. We did it. Okay, so let's just set it on harvesting speed. And what do you know? Working out perfectly. Do we have any barley in stock right in our silos? No. Still got lots of canola, a fair amount of corn. 167 eggs as well. I'm pretty sure we've hit the maximum amount of eggs. Wool and eggs, yep. Alright. Okay, so back to you. Okay, so this harvest is going to still go for a couple more rows. Now we'll be done and we can get to work on that field and in the meantime, while that harvest is working on that field, we'll go ahead and bring our baler onto here. We'll get a good couple of bales out of this field. And I can show you how that mixer works. Which is also great fun. Let's just move out of the way. Okay, good stuff. You're 33% filled, whatever. Um, maybe we should drop off some grass. Let's see. Because we hit the maximum amount that we were able to, even though we have like a million and one sheep. <laughs> really? Okay. We've got 150 sheep or something like that, and we're still not able to drop off a good couple of tons of grass. How much do we have? Let's see. I think it shows up. The statistics. There you go, feeding trough, 18,000. So it's probably like 18,200 litres of grass. So I've got pretty much double what we need. Yeah, because we have it in our forager as well. Let's see if we can actually jump in here. See, that's the mod. It's good that the vehicle is always on. Let's jump through here. Let's see if we can like do anything to the sheep. They actually look pretty decent. The textures look pretty good. But we can walk through him. Take him from behind like a New Zealander. <laughs> I don't think any of you guys really, or many of you guys know, like, Australians always like to bag out New Zealanders. It's probably like Americans and Canadians. Um, okay. I don't really know what I'm doing now, apart from tabbing too much. I can't really wind or anything. I think I should just go ahead and... Be ready to take all of the crop. So wait, we have a, in the statistics, the 51,269 is a this full field of corn. Make, uh, no, it's just this field, right. So we'll have to compare how much we get. I think the numbers, well, they're looking like they might actually finish up the same, which is quite interesting. That'd be an interesting test if uh, corn and barley have the same amount of yield. Because we did, and actually with the corn, we did left, like we did leave a bit of it to wither away. It wasn't too much, but it was still noticeable. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, hmm. 
So back to the windrower it is. And we're gonna go to these two rows. we can go ahead and finally bail and I need to go ahead and do some straw that'll be next episode which might I'm thinking about doing a couple of videos today I'm going to be doing a couple of Euro Truck Simulator 2 I've been wanting to do that for the longest time but I just can't get the motivation because once you crash in Euro Truck Simulator 2 on a long journey you just lose any and all motivation it's like oh no because you know you're not going to get as good as a reward if you like, crash pretty severely We can turn the mixer on over here. Although that does really nothing. Still have a lot to learn how to use this. We've still got the hay and all that stuff to use, which we won't be doing here. We'll do next episode. This guy, hopefully, the AI will be able to do this in one go. If not, no, I no, don't think we will. Let's see. Oh, he will. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's good to see. Okay. Just wondering because that ridge mark with the ridge marked field it just kind of looks weird with the hay on top. It looks actually quite 3D. Looks kind of neat. But as soon as this guy is done on this row, and we'll send him on over here. So I can go ahead and use our bailing technology. We'll wind drop first and then bailing technology next. And we'll drop off the rest of our seed off in the tractor, the trailer. Alright, and I have been I've been testing out the map, like I know how to delete everything now. And I've saved it, although I don't know how to save it properly without the game crashing on me. It crashes every time I try to load up with the new map. I call it Map01, so like it should be almost as if it's a complete replacement, just with the no trees. But it doesn't seem to work, unfortunately. So I've got a little bit to learn. But we're getting there. I know how to move now, thanks to all of you guys that did help me out using the alt button. And that definitely helps out. Let's get ready while we're putting... While we've got our pipe over his trailer. Okay. So let's rehire a worker. Like so, are you going to hit the trees? I don't think so, it should be good. And hopefully get those little bits of barley jutting out. Where are we going? Let's go to the windrow. I just want to go, well, I do want to check how much this field of barley actually gave us, if it's the same amount as corn. Because it seems like it was the same amount. Even though those are two fields, it's still extremely small. Like this is one good field, like this really big one. You gotta love it. Gonna try to keep the lines relatively straight as well. Okay, let's close V and X and B to turn it off. And drive all the way down there so I can get to our bailer and start bailing but before we do that oh no, I don't want console commands I want there we go 51,872 yup 
they give off pretty much exactly the same amounts. That's pretty interesting though. I wasn't expecting that. And I could have just shift tabbed out of this guy into that tractor. Instead I just had to press tab all the time. Silly me. But now, because of this hay, is nice and compact, so we'll be able to get some good bales. My guesstimate is about 30 bales out of this field. That should be pretty good if we get that. Okay, so turn on the bale up. Let's just do this a little bit first, bits that we missed out on. I think we got cruise control level 2, so let's just go up that. And follow the trail. Yeah, that guy still doesn't have his pipe out, which is good. Yeah, these, I don't know what the developers were thinking with all these trees here. It's just ridiculous. I don't understand at all. Wouldn't have, they have noticed, like in beta testing, that it's so annoying? These trees are just in the way. I don't understand. We are doing quite well. That's four. Okay, so we've got four so far. Yeah, maybe 30 was a bit too liberal. Maybe we'll choose 16. So that's five. And we're gonna do some hay. After this, I'll go ahead and bring all these tools. Uh, the windrower, the tether, I think is already up there. But we'll bring up the baler as well. So I'm going to make some grass bales. We'll bring up the mixer as well. So we'll see how all that works. And then I've got to do some silage. I could do some silage this episode, shouldn't I? Couldn't I? It's not too hard. Go ahead and do this first. How uh, is that? Harvester doing, I think he's stopped, hasn't he? I'm pretty sure he has, so oh, I put a shift tab, couldn't I? So I think I have to go ahead and go to the silo first up, wouldn't I? And to just deliver all of this because we're gonna have too much. With this driving ridiculously slow with all that stuff. It looks like the wheels are going backwards, doesn't it? It's just because I think the speed, if we slow down that yeah. Kind of weird. It's it's kind of weird how um because sometimes when you have a camera and that records obviously at a certain frequency at a certain frame rate, uh, when a helicopter, the uh, the blades of a helicopter go at a certain speed as well and they're completely synced together the frame rate of the camera and the helicopter's blades. It's kind of funny how sometimes it seems like the blades of the helicopter aren't moving at all. It's always good to see on YouTube those videos like that. Hopefully we don't fill it all up. I don't think we will. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, that's luck right there. I think this has like a, uh, a capacity of 61,200 or something of the sorts. So we're going to have to go deliver all of this to the silo that is. Nothing too major. We've got that other small tipper but it's pretty much useless right now. Maybe I should sell it but we'll keep it for now. 
If only you could hire workers like and point and click on a mouse on the map with your mouse to tell workers where you want them to drive automatically. That would be sweet. I could set waypoints so they drive at least on the road so they don't get stuck. That would have been neat. But instead you can only like have one tipper at a time, doing one thing at a time. Hmm. Well, I guess we should keep on bailing. The house is doing the same thing. Say so the tip, it's probably already done, but we're going to keep on bailing. Got some good bails going out from here. I think from these fields we only get two, two uh, harvester falls of that field over there. So it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, we missed a little bit. Oh well. It'll have to stay there. Not much I can do about it now, but it's only a little bit, any, little bit anyway. I'm tempted to speed things up because there's no real point in just playing at this slow speed as we are now, apart from that field over there but I think it's still fresh and like only it's in, in its first stage of growth at least that's what I'm assuming let's go check no it's in the middle stage it's okay it takes a while for the crop to die anyway like you have to pretty much legitimately try to make it die or you you've been playing at 120 times speed and alt tabbed out And then there was one line, one route. We can bring up the uh, fun toy, which is the pretty much the creme de la creme of the bailing technology, which puts all the bales on the trailer by itself. So it's not a headache. Imagine doing this with a front loader. Oh no. And that's what they expected to do at the beginning of the like at the beginning of the game when you don't have enough money. Those are the beginning things you invest in. Thank the Lord we didn't do that. Okay, I think we're going to need to bring our tipper very soon because you're at 80% already. Jeez, the yield's pretty good then. I'm not going to be complaining. Okay, we can just slow down over here. We'll go ahead and do everything once we should have. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the second field, the one that the harvest is working on right now, and then we'll go ahead and get the auto bailer. But I think that'll be in another episode. Oh, you know what? Maybe let's just keep on doing this. You guys can get a longer episode because after all it is a Saturday at least it is where I am now in Australia okay so are you done or are you just turning into a new road I think you're done you're filled up okay well I'm driving as quick as I can Damn those wheels.
Okay, while you guys are filling up, I'm going to disattach you and attach the windrow again. So I can get to work quick smart. Thank you. Okay, that's all on. You're going to be doing a good job. But what I need right now is to move this tractor out of the way. I think we should be able to just get these harvesters to go ahead and just finish, finish the field off by itself. That should be good. Uh, meanwhile, we'll get this windrower to go ahead and do his own thing. It shouldn't take too long either. Get a couple of bales and we'll be all good. How is that dust there for? I don't know what that dust there for. It just stood behind. Okay. Got to be driving straight and I'm not really doing too good of a job at that. Oh no, I was thinking about doing Grand Theft Auto, oh, not Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty Black Ops, like just spam you guys with the full game uh, as soon as I was able to post it, but unfortunately the embargo date changed because um, it was going to be local time, so Australia obviously has the first, well one of the first time zones, New Zealand and and New Zealand will probably be the first country that has, like, the, lives in the future the most. And then Australia is next up. So I thought I'd uh, just be able to upload it first for you guys. But unfortunately, I changed it to Pacific Standard Time, which is American West Coast, which is pretty much like what every embargo date is. So everyone gets to post at the same time. But I just leave that up to the major commentators. It's, it's that's what probably most of you guys would be watching and probably wouldn't be the best so I'm, I'm thinking about doing emergency 2012 it's a game that recently came out you might see this after this or even maybe before depends how I upload them because the way I do this is I record for the day and then you render it out rendering just takes forever and then we upload them which takes even longer than rendering out Okay, we're doing quite decently. We've got to drive straight. Okay, I'm not exactly sure if I should go ahead and use the harvest to just harvest this bit or just let it wither away. It still take us a while to drive over here. And you know me, I'm getting quite lazy. But, okay, what I'll do is get the harvester. Oh, you're already on? Okay, that's good. Oh wait, no. Sorry. That was the hired worker driving. I'm not exactly sure what he had in mind, because there's not much to cut. There's nothing to cut. You just pose probably those little invisible bits that the game sometimes has. That a game knows is still here. It's coded that it's here, but we can't see it. The graphics don't come up. Let's go turn it on. Drive the cruise control to you. Okay. Put the arm out it's just for when the tractor comes by. Let's go back to this, the windrower. Now we can start bailing again. Turn that on. Get a good couple of lines out of this field. It's only four rows though. 
because the windrower did its job. Well, the windrower is actually quite impressive. I'm, I've never really used it, so I didn't really know what it was supposed to do, but it's kind of decent. It saves up a bit of time. It'd be interesting to know if it actually does save time because instead of having to use the windrow, what you could do is just keep on bailing. I guess maybe it does save a, a, a bit of time, especially with the larger fields. So you don't have to keep on turning and doing all these small little rows. Unfortunately, that's the biggest windrow that there is in the game. Oh, missing bits and pieces. Okay, so after this, we'll go ahead and get the auto bail up. This episode will probably go for about 45 or so minutes. And then next episode, we'll be doing pretty much the same thing except with grass. I might go ahead and uh, harvest, uh, plant a, a uh, crop over here. we we'll get the harvest to do his own thing for a little bit, but nothing too major. It's quite decent all in all. Unfortunately, these sheep's walls at 100%. Can't do anything about that. And there's that still... That little patch is still there from the first couple of episodes. I think that was the second episode where we went and had ahead and merged the two fields. Or maybe the third one. That's a really good decision though. It saves up a lot of time. It only took us about a couple of minutes as well. And talk about how long we've been playing this for. Look at this. Um, statistics. We've been playing for 35 hours so far. Obviously a lot of that time I've been out tabbing and doing all that stuff. But wow, the actual petrol goes by really quick. I never really noticed how quick petrol disappears because I always use the hired worker. So they get their seeds and they get their petrol and fuel and all that stuff by themselves. Okay, so that's all done. Let's just drive over these little areas. That we've missed out on on our way. Whatever, I'm not really too fast about that. Actually, we should get and do this little bit, shouldn't we? Eating everything up. Okay, so now we're going to disattach that. Zoom back in. Go to the auto power, which is the wrong way. Chickens also have 57 eggs, but I'm not going to be worrying about them. Chickens can go screw themselves. So we start off on the right side of the fields. Put this in operating position. Starting off on the right so we can go from right to left because we also have that second field. And thankfully with this we can go maximum speed as well. And it works out perfect. Okay. What? Can be a bit thickly. All in all, it's good. Ok, 
and there's not much. I doubt we'll even get this auto bail full with both fields. Okay, so we've got to wait until this thing goes down, and there we go. Now I understand why that failed the first time. got this field then. And there's not much to do. Apart from putting in the auto mixer, which is also going to be a challenge and a half, but we'll have to wait until we do that. Actually, maybe we'll have a bit too many bales. That's the way it's looking right now. Let's see. It seems like that's the maximum amount. We definitely won't be able to get the rest. I'd be surprised if we do. Yeah, no. Okay, so these are the maximum amount. What I think I'll do is... I will leave things as they are. We'll be back next episode. I'll probably all the way over to where the cows are because that's where all the stuff that we need is. So until then guys, we'll be back with another episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this longer episode and thanks for watching.